Yo guys, welcome back to another video. This was going to be the OPO6 Sky Island build gameplay video. But since Star Trek 13 is right around the corner in the west, I figured I would just do the more updated version, which I think is the better deck anyways, and my favorite version of Yamato that I've played so far. So uh, I'm going to show you a few deck lists, go over them, uh, show you some hands real quick, and then we will jump into some gameplay. So without any further ado, let's go and uh, let's get started. All right, so I have three lists to quickly show you, but uh, everything's gonna get covered mostly just within, it's all the same like core engine and everything, right? Um, so what this is, this is the Sky Island build and the new cards, the, the new cards that we have from Star Trek 13, really it's this five cost rush ace. Uh, this Yamato is also really cool, um, but you really don't, it doesn't see a lot of play. It's just a nice 2K and it's kind of just that like last resource, that last resort if you really, really need the rush. Um, I ended up taking this out and running the two cost Hiori, uh, just to plant stuff in life if you need it in a pinch, like the uh, zero cost event or Onami or something like that. But I just want to showcase it and maybe we'll run into a game or two where you can use, like it is a clutch card. It can be a very clutch card, but like 99% of the time, it's just a nice 2k. Um, or if you really don't have anything else you can play, you can play it, you know, but you, you have to, uh, essentially lose a life to play it. So you don't want to play it if you still have life and it's only 4,000 power, but we got Ezo, just a staple, you know, um, I like to tech sugars into my sky Island builds. Um, I normally keep her at two. I don't like to go too much over three is fine too. I, you, I don't think you can even run this at four. It's just, we don't have the space. Um, it's just so clutch. Uh, this helps you beat Sakazuki and it just i mean rest those four cost blockers early and just get that extra hit in with a uh, leader it's just really really good you don't have to run this card i just really really like it for hody i'm gonna say for hody for sky island especially this is like a very much more of an aggro build um you just have to see it you have to see it most games um and sometimes it's even nice to see two honestly so it's just really good obviously a staple i'm sure you guys all know by now how powerful this card is um tip of the hat to good old howdy johnson um then you got your ohm holy combo pretty self-explanatory um this is a great uh you can still go first with sky island build and you know swing 8k with leader and then on your turn three five dawn you swing 6k with leader play ohm holy if you have it in hand or if you at least have an ohm and when you hit it if you hit it, it oh man if you got that dog in you it's just the best feeling in the world and then now you got two characters on board for the cost of four dawn and you got an additional 6k attack in with leader it's just really good satori just searchable 2k counter really really good trigger obviously for sure just you know you're gonna get these out of your life it's gonna help you search your events all of our events are sky island so it's really really good i think because we run a lot of these events and sometimes we really need to see one or two of them Keeping sure at four is probably the best, and obviously just searching out your own holy combo. I think it's just really, really valuable. It's an on play, so you don't have to use any extra dawn each turn. Um, yeah, really, really good. And then holy, obviously. Onami, just really, really good. You know, getting the banish, the trigger is amazing. And uh, this guy, this little, our little guy here. Five cost rush ace. One of my favorite cards in the entire game. There, there is not many other cards that feel better to play than this card with Yamato. Playing him for five dawn when you're at two or less life and then using leader effect and making him a five cost 9k power rusher is so crazy. Um, one of the best plays, like if e Ace is so good because sometimes you just don't really have a great play, but the pressure that Ace brings if your opponent's, um, or if you're at two or less life, like your opponent could be a five life still. If you're at two or less life, you know, boom, he's at least a 7k, right? You need the, the your opponent to be at three or less for the um, leader effect, obviously. But it just puts so much pressure on the board and just being rushed. And most of the time you're playing this, you're at two life, they're at three or less, it's gonna be a 9k rusher. So good. This actually helps a lot into black as well, just by being able to uh, swing 9, 10k at a blocker or just putting the pressure where they have to block or, you know, sometimes it's such a great bluff too because once people know you might have the, the rush, if as long as you leave up 5 dawn, like they have to play around this card and it's such a good threat to your opponent. Um, 
yeah i can't say uh, enough good things about this card and it's ace like come on it's our boy it's our boy with yamato like uh this, this is such a good combo right i was so happy this card came out it's amazing um then like i explained already 2k yamato um this this is a flex spot you can you can change it out for whatever you like um sugar and this 2k i do recommend running the 12 2k counters though so if you want to run beige if you want to run hyori if you want to run mihawk uh be my guest i just want to try and showcase this since it's like coming out in the starter 13 and then for our events so most of the time i run at the very least i run four amaru three to four zero cost and then two to three reject um L4 is kind of a flex spot. Sometimes I like to run Gidatsu. And then once EB01 came out, I was running um, Gone Fall sometimes too. Kind of just depending on what the local meta was like. Gidatsu can help if you're, you know, playing a lot of decks that are five life leaders and they have a lot of counter and they just counter out of that first AK swing. And then they play a four cost character that you're able to KO. Like Gidatsu is just really good for that, you know. Um, but most of the time you still want to at least swing 6-7k with your leader the next turn, so Gidatsu is not always the best play. But um, this is just good defensively. It's such an aggro heavy deck, and while you do have a lot of counter, you actually have a ton of counter here just within your main cards. Um, having the zero cost in Elthor just gives you that extra layer of protection and um, is also good for a bluff because if they see you have Elthor, even if they don't see it, you leave that one dawn up and they got it and they'll see you're running the sky island by then um so they have to kind of play around it but yes this is um this is essentially the list i was running um i've tweaked it a little bit here um i guess the main thing would just be i normally ended up switching back to the hiori 2k and then this uh these two cards right here were f were kind of uh switched around between like gidatsu gonfall two cost blocker shirahoshi because that card is actually pretty good in the black um but yeah um this is it though this is essentially it um there's not too many flex spots in this list but i do want to show you guys two other lists real quick so let's jump over to that all right so uh one of my favorite yamato players in japan laundry you've probably heard me talk about him before i've posted his notes and stuff um this was one of the kind of first iterations of one of the Sky Island builds that he was playing, and it doesn't run Reject, so I really wanted to showcase this one because it's still really strong. I know a lot of people in the West aren't really like jumping on the Reject bandwagon, and it's fine, I understand. I still think it's like the most powerful yellow event that's ever existed and works really, really well in Yamato, especially this Sky Island aggro build. I, I understand more for people who don't want to run it in Wano, but if you're someone who values Amaru and the zero cost over reject, this is perfect. So it's very similar to the list I just showed you, but you have the um, the Hyori's instead of the Yamato. You obviously have the Ace and Kikunojo. And then you're running four Amaru and four of the zero cost. So obviously Amaru is really, really good for going for a game. You know, if you can't draw Hody as long as they have, if it's not a five cost or higher blocker and you're at one or less life, boom, you got it. And just the boost, the boost can be used in so many different instances too. Um, it's just the perfect amount of Dawn too. You play two to use this, then you can still use leader effect. Um, this list is very good and you do have the kind of luxury of getting Kikunojo out of life every now and then or planting her with life and, uh, you, I mean, you're only really going to be planting maybe, um, I, I mean, Onami, Amaru, Zero Cost, and Kikunojo are all possible plants with uh, Hiori, so it's not bad. And it's actually why I kind of tended to switch, I like normally opted to switch back to Hiori, it's just because in a pinch, sometimes, uh, Hiori proved more useful to me than the 2k Yamato. But this is the first list, and let me show you guys one more. Alright, this is, this is the bad boy. This is the bad boy. This is the list that... Uh, ended up winning a lot of stuff. Laundry did really well with this list too, and I believe a few people won some flagships with it. Um, this list is just, this is like, this is a lean, mean, killing machine, okay? Um, so Yamato switched back in from Hyori, and this is the, this was the, the latest list, I believe, that Laundry was using until OP07 came out, and we lost Reject. Um, but you might notice something one of these lists is not like the other you might notice that there are four that he is running four reject 
and yeah it might seem kind of crazy but dude i'm just i'm telling you man i'm telling you man against five life leaders and when you're just full aggro again not every situation needs two three four rejects in the build right but when you're full aggro sky island and you are you, because ace is at two or less life you're kind of you're taking those early hits and you know you're not getting much out of your triggers anyways you're taking those early hits so that you can play ace very quickly and um then essentially establish ace you know hopefully they're at three or two or less life by the time you play ace and then you're countering out of things maybe you got an ohm holy combo off maybe you got a nami ban onami banish swing off and then it's just boom straight to the races you know reject amaru you know reject double amaru stuff like that like the combo power with these event cards is so powerful like it's so much that um it's kind of warranted right and you might think like wow 4 8 12 14 events is kind of crazy and it is, it is a little crazy but you know the zero cost i don't fully count the zero cost events as like a non-counter card it's more it's like a it's like a 0.5 for me like you know so this would maybe count as like two counterless cards um or just none at all because they're just oh they are really useful and obviously the trigger is amazing and uh yeah it's searchable off Shura. like this this is a very lean mean killing machine uh, that's all i can really say about it but those are the lists so let, let's just look at some hands real quick just some key cards that you want to mulligan for and then we'll jump into the gameplay all right so one of the nice things about the sky island build is your game plan is pretty straightforward and you kind of know what you want to do every time especially since you're aggro you're not thinking like oh okay i'll search out this and then maybe i'll do this and then i'll i'll set up a blocker and then do this combo it's like it's not that type of deck right um which is those types of decks are fun too and there are versions of yamato especially in op07 where you can be take your time and do some cool searches and some cool combos but this is this is not that this is full pedal to the metal full aggro this is what you want to see i you get this hand every now and then and then you're just like damn nice <laughs> you're just like keep i'm keeping this um like this event like whatever this event is could be any of them right um just whatever and um, like one of the like if you, as long as you have ohm you're good to go right like this could be shura and you could still play shura um you still you kind of just you want to swing here's the thing is you want to swing 8k turn two going first and you want to swing 9k um turn two going second so if you do go second having shura is nice right because there's nothing else you can do but if you if you play Shura on your three dawn turn or your four dawn turn, your first attack into life is going to be very limited, and it's not it's like it's not always the best thing. You really like just having Ohm Holy ready to go, where turn three going first, your five dawn turn, you just slap a dawn on leader six k. You know you're about to play Ohm Holy, boom, you play it, and then you just you're ready to go. Like at that point, you're like already really well off. And then obviously ace for the mid rush, like the mid game rush, and then Hody for the finisher. And then by then, hopefully you have one or two other events and hopefully you're drawing enough counter along the way too. But this is it. Like I could show you guys some other hands, but this is really it. The main mulligan, I would say, it depends on the matchup. You want Hody. You really, really want Hody. I would still say, even in this, even in this build, even, you know, Yamato is always mulliganing for Hody. But the, the nice thing here is like, if this Hody wasn't here and you got all these four cards and maybe like a 2k counter, you can keep that hand. You can definitely keep that hand. Um, if you get Hody and like four counters, you might want to mulligan, obviously. But as long as you have like, as long as you have at least two of the pieces here, like the Rush and the Ohm Holy combo, or um, like the Ohm Holy combo and counter and events, then you can keep it. But I would still, I would still prioritize at least Hody or Ace over everything else because that is what you're going to need for to either put the pressure on mid game or to go for lethal at the end of game but yeah these are the hands and uh those are the deck lists so let's jump into some games and hope we can get some good ones oh and nelly 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 m and emmy we got m and m this is an evo one yet though so uh we're going second. This is risky, but we could. I'm on a mulligan. Nah, this is okay. This is all right. 
We're actually gonna try. I wish you were going first. It's okay. We're gonna try and kind of rush him down here. He doesn't have Flampe. He doesn't have Raigo. He doesn't. He doesn't have all the good cards from EB1. So uh, we don't have to worry about any of that, which is nice. <clears throat> Will you sure here? We'll get the Elm, <clears throat> which is nice. Now we can do this. He can swing five. He might just take it. Anel is the easiest take. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, they don't always, but. Whoo! Boy! <clears throat> Alright, now we can go wide. Excuse me. Um, He's. Uh, Kikanojo. That's fine. Now Ace is live. <laughs> it's just funny. You see that for Don, you're like, it's Kikanojo. <laughs> Every time. Alright. Now. Hmm. Which way should we do this? I think. Mm, six. Or seven, five, five, seven. Or nine. Yeah. I want to get the most value out of this swing. Because in case he has an Onami. Six and six might be better. Or just six, five, six. Okay. That's really bad. I guess we could have... Oh, that's fine. Mm, Jesus Christ, dude. Um, Alright, what do we do here? He's only going to be a 7 on next turn. Yeah, I think we still just do this. Okay. Because now he can swing into Ace, but we have Hody. Alright, okay. All right, man. I need you to stop that, please. <laughs> I need you to stop that, please. All right, that's yellow. That's yellow. Especially, I guess, without the EV01 cards. They're just running a shit ton of triggers, I guess. I mean, that was really lucky, right? Kikunojo into beige, into cracker. And he's at less life. He got the, the less life from this. Like, oh my god. And he has an armor. <laughs> Dude. Really? 7, 10, 1. I don't have 2. If I had another 2k, that would be the play. 7, 10, 1. So now hopefully we don't lose, right? Because he can go 7, which we can... Oh, he's going 7 and Ace? I really don't want you to do that. Ah... Uh, no, I have to counter out here, because otherwise he just starts going into my other characters, too. Unfortunately. Wow. I literally just... I need one more kite. One, one key counter. God damn, that sucks, dude. Uh, Alright, we still have a shot. We can play Onami here. Vanish. He gets another one. He only has four cards. This will have to go through, and this will have to go through. Mm. We have no clue like what kind of counter he has right now. We really can't tell. Mm. Save Amaru for as long as we can. I don't think Cody is the play. Because we could do like five, five, seven, Five, five. I can do f uh, five, 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 seven, ten. Is that better? Or we can do like seven K banish swing with Ohm. Oh my God. This is so hard. Yeah, we can do it with a leader. I'm just gonna have to hope. I have to do eight, because if he has you're the one who disappears, he can just counter out of it. This is rough. 
Okay, now we know we only have three cards. But again, I need all these to kind of be like at least eight, which is really bad. I kind of already screwed up then. It's gonna be, it would be eight, eight. Leader effect, and then nine, yeah. Another eight, hopefully he has to take it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, GG. Insta disconnect. You can't insta disconnect after you get that life, man. Come on. Oh, and look. Well, we don't know what his life was, but he had, like, at one point he had the 3K. When you're playing against Anel, and I've learned this a lot, especially recently, against OP07 Anel, like, they just always have you're the one that should disappear in hand, which GG's to this guy, that was still a fun game. Um, that's what's up though. Beating an L feels really good, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I know it's not the strongest an L, like it's not that crazy, but there are merits to just running a ton of triggers instead of the stuff that you get from EB01, or even OP07 for that matter. But yeah, I think as a basis, you kind of want to swing 8K at an L if you're in these kind of like last, like I, Honestly, I'm thinking on the spot here. I didn't want to take too long um, to think everything out. I probably would have been a little bit slower in a real life situation if it was like an important match or something. Um, but I do think just at the end of the day, well, cause we went eight, eight, nine too, which is pretty good. Like, you know, um, that's really decent. Cause the problem with Anel is like you swing seven and they always have that you're the one who should disappear. And then it just feels bad. And you're like, oh my God. Um, if you've seen them play at least two or three, then yes, you can swing seven because so after that, if you notice they don't have a lot of you're the one who just should disappear as left, then you can assume, and this is, this is actually more so for like the later NLs, like especially OP07, they're mostly running only, um, 2k counters, a lot of 2k counters. They don't have as many 1k counters. Um, but I mean, even these ones, you can see it's a lot of 2k counters and counterless cards. That's why they have to run four of the zero cost, but GG's to that guy. We beat him, even though he had some crazy life, and uh, that's what's up. We didn't even need Hody Jones, man. Check it out. But yeah, that was clutch, so GG's. All right, caught a curry. Ooh, this is pretty good. We got Onami. I'm using the list that I showed you that was mine, by the way, for now, at least for this game. I wanna try a few with that. Um, this is always risky, but if we let them get to 10 Dawn, oh, that's so lucky. Sometimes you just gotta risk it with Katakuri. You really do. Um, playing for four, Kikunojo? Mm, huh, it's okay. Yeah, it's not Sanji blocker. So, two is an eight. We'll get the counter out of his hand. We could go five, but that's too risky. With Kikinojo on board, getting extra triggers out of life would just be too dangerous for us at this point. So we need to get the counter out of his hand. Ooh, we got three cards, that's pretty good. <clears throat> so we can take one more and we'll have enough for Ace next turn, where our life will be at two or less. We're just gonna have to avoid Kikunojo the entire game. Uh, two cost event would be really nice here. What does he want to play? That's the hard part, because he can go eight. Mm, I don't like this. He can play Peril's Peril and still swing eight, so I don't like that. All right, he's only going seven. That's fine. Uh, okay. All right, we're back in business, baby. Ah, he got the Sanji blocker, damn it. Um, Cause I was gonna say, I'm just gonna swing 10K with another Onami swing. In that case, we can swing seven and nine, which is pretty decent. That'll probably at least KO his blocker. Then I'll have another two swings, but we really kind of need to get through. Uh, we'd only swing seven if we did an Izo Onami finish. And we don't have enough to play Izo and Ace. Mm. I think we're gonna do this. He might just block this. I don't know if he has the counter. He's gonna get eight Dawn next turn. Okay. Mm. I 
I think as Yamato against Katakuri, you can't, you just can't give them the life. Unless they play a 7 mom and you just can't trash or else you lose the next turn, you really don't want to give them the life. Because when you're swinging double attack, like, they get, if they get two, yeah, uh, one, two, you can only swing set five and seven. I don't know if we can go for game. We have an Amaru though. Let's trash. Let's trash. Swing in uh, six and seven. Yeah, sorry. I forgot about leader effect. Then we'll take this. We won't survive next turn. Because we don't even have an L4. We'll take this and hope it's Kikinojo. Oh, there's an L4. Um, Hmm. All right, well. Uh, this would be 10 and then 10, 12, 11, 10, 11, 13. All right, we'll go 11. Just hope he doesn't have the counter. Okay, that's fine. Uh, maybe should have saved more here. Just hope this gets through. 13's a lot. He might have it. No, it looks like he doesn't. GG. Whew. Yeah, look at that. This is what was coming, man. This is what was coming. Holy crap. That's why, like... <laughs> just no ggs that's okay um yeah katakuri man it's really a 50 50 i think it's a it's a strict 50 50 with yamato maybe we have the slight edge because we have cards like ace with Star Trek 13 but man like we both have reject so that's also another reason why you just like if you you can't you can't assume you're gonna live the next turn when you're only at one life against Katakuri. So you just take the life and hope it's a Kikunojo or something. Or another Amaru to give you boost. Um, but yeah. The thing is, they countered out quite a bit early. And only had those 1Ks. So he did draw into some counter though. But yeah. Um, I have tested going slow against Katakuri and like starving them until you can get a for sure Onami banish swing off and yes it does sometimes work but I think you just got to play the casino man like I really like maybe like having two Onamis is pretty good so maybe I could have done that but as you see you can see here like dude he had Amaru two 10 moms and another seven mom like he was just gonna play 10 mom the next turn and then we would you know it would, he would have three life and we couldn't get through. So, GG's to this guy. I do think, especially when you're playing an aggro build, going aggro against Katakuri is normally the best option, in my opinion. Oh, Sabo. Okay. Not the most meta deck in the world, but hopefully we can see. It's probably pretty good against us. Oh, we might have to keep this. I have a feeling that these Hodis are going to be so clutch in the end game. And he went first, so we can play Shura. Ooh, and a little bit of counter there is kind of nice. Uh, honestly, I could have taken reject there. I'm not going to lie. Let's see. Got to find out what kind of build he's playing. Or not. You got it, my guy. Oh, okay. Holy crap. Oh, okay. Oh, chill out. <laughs> chill out, guys. Chill out. Oh, my God. Mm. Uh, we have rest we have rush i think it's just gonna be kind of good getting if we can get the holy it's worth it right this is it this is the decision you have to make with sky island build I'm sure you know if you played an l i mean with nell is different though because you're not getting double attacks off with your leader you don't mind just swinging five getting the, the 1k counter out or they just take it right We got him. We got that dog in us. Got that dog. See? And then you're like, wow, it was worth it. 
I love Sky Island build. And then when you miss, you're like, dude, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> what am I doing? What am I here for? Why are we here? And so we can take this. The one, the, the nice thing about running Ace is like, we can play for four, that's whatever. Oh, let's go. So the nice thing about running about running Ace is you just don't really, oh, and we can rest this dude. Not and not please at the same time. So it's probably, um, I think we don't, uh, but where, okay, so six, six, the same kind of, okay. Are we swing six? Six with leader. We just need him to take one of these. Hopefully he takes one of them. Six, six with leader. Ace. Yes. Or maybe not yes. What is that? Red triggers are scary. He can always pop something. You never know. Maybe he's running jet P. Okay, cool. All right, so now, well, now we know we can use leader effect. So, yeah, but we still have to go with the plan. Six, we might just block and leader effect, right? Man, if he does that, I'd actually be tempted to swing into him. But we have enough resting capabilities here. I don't think it matters. Hina's is actually gonna hurt us more if he gets a Hina on board. Three, six, seven, seven. Just in case, I'm going with Holy first. It's giving away our attacks, our attack power, but I don't know what these triggers are in case he takes it. You gotta be extra careful when you're playing a deck that you're not used to playing or isn't very meta. Dude, but I mean, one, two, three, four. Oh, crap. Man, we got that. Oh, I forgot we have Satori. That was my bad. But we wouldn't have been able to get the 60 attack off. Unless he blocks. We still have a shot. I mean, either way. Oh, he did. Okay, cool. Then we can do this. Right? We got this out of life last turn, right? Yeah. Do we swing into... Or we just put the pressure. If he takes this, that would be so huge. I mean, it's a 1k counter either way, right? Mm, we ate on. Yeah, I'll just go with life. I'm assuming he has a 1k counter. And if he takes this, it's just better for us, right? All right, so we did some damage there. That was good. This, this is also when you're like, man, it was so worth it to play Om Holy. And then we just got lucky, right? I mean, we gotta be careful. Probably has Rush Luffy in there. Or maybe some kind of Rush. Hmm. Sabo, another Sabo. Seven at Holy, probably. He might just go leader or Satori. Uh, yeah, it's fine. He might even swing four. So I don't. Hina's pretty good. This is on block. Ooh. Mm. If we Hody here and leave up one. I'm so tempted because he's gonna, he, if he he's gonna block first with Hina and then he'll st stun. Once so we lose two attacks, we'd only have one, or we'll lose one attack, right? So one, two, three. Mm, and he would stop Ace. No, yeah, he can stop Ace. I think we have to play Hody here, so that he can't block. And then we'll leave up one, and just do our best here. Five with leader first. He counters out because he doesn't want to lose a dawn. And then we're gonna go fudge. I don't know. 
five, five, six, eight, nine. Or we could go six, seven, seven, eight. Might actually be the better play. Six, seven, seven, eight. Sorry, I don't, I'm not gonna take the time <laughs> to, to do the math. Normally I would, I would be a little bit more prudent. Here's the thing, if we just try and clear his board, maybe I should've just thought about, nah, but he can, he can save him, right? Okay. Let's see, if he can, oh, he took it. All right, we do this then first. Uh, I think we just go for it. I don't think he has it. Ooh, GG's. Oh, he had Luffy. Wow, that's a cool, that's a cool like uh, hand right there. Oh man, yeah, that was just. Um, I mean. You just gotta try and read your opponent the best you can, right? When he, uh, when he had to take the life from the 7k with Holy, that's my sign as like, either this dude's really good and baiting me, or unfortunately he just doesn't really have the counter to get out of everything. Um, and if he still had four or five cards, I would have kept that one Dawn up. I think we might have just still, we might have still just lost anyways, but... I don't know, we had six, or sorry, five and an L4, plus one life. We, we might have survived. He would have had to have split up his Dawn very well. But GG's to that guy. That was an interesting match. I haven't played a Sabo in a while. All right. Good old Sokka. Oh my god. We will keep this, my friend. He did decide to go first, so having Shiro would have been a little more clutch just to get the extra card. But we don't mind. <clears throat> He might just swing AK. What are you gonna do? Play searchers probably, right? Yeah, brand new. Tishigi is also very good. I think with as Sakazuki going against Yamato, you wanna get some, oh, nope, K's going AK. <laughs> I'm not gonna, yeah, I wasn't gonna really counter out of it either way. I think it's better if you have them to just get the searchers on board and just like, um, especially brand new. If you can get two or three brand new and you're going with leader, Okay, now's not the time to switch to that. But yeah, Sabo's good here. Sabo's really good here. Nope. Uh, okay, then as long as it's that, we got this. This is why I run Sugar, honestly. Like, this is it. This is why I run Sugar. Uh, also very clutch into, like, Perona, 2 cost Rosie, and stuff like that. Because, um, look, we went second, so it's just like, this is another 9k. He might not even be able to counter out of this. And if he can't, then we have Hody and Ace, so it's just like... Okay, he got out. That's good. Good for him. Now our job's a little bit harder. It would have been really nice if he had to take that. But getting the counter out of his hand is good too. <laughs> uh, do we want to take this? So the ace is live. It's risky. I think we can take it. Oh my god. We don't want three holies, man. Oh, that's kind of clutch. That is actually kind of clutch. So we go three and nine, or eight and nine, sorry. You might have to just block this, yeah. He takes this. Now he has a tough decision. Do you want to swing heavy? Or like, you know, swing into me? Eight cards, four cost puddings on the table, I guess. What a wild hand. I'm not complaining though, because this is actually really clutch. Like if he doesn't play a five cost, if Ace survives and he doesn't play a five cost blocker, we just go ham with Amaru's and I think we just win. It'll be a 10 Dawn. We can do the math in a second. Mmm. I think I'm okay giving him the 2k. Moria? 
Moria's not... Oh my god, I should have taken that though. Nah, because then... Yeah, no, I have the counter. Uh, yeah, I had the counter. I should have just taken it. Because if he doesn't swing again and we need to use Amaru, uh, well, he's just going to die anyways, so it's fine. Then it was smart for us to counter there. Um... Hmm. Chances are low of having Satori in life. He's just going to swing AK here. So let's take this first one, just so that we know that we have Amaru live. He's only going to play a four cost. So we're not going to survive another turn. Let's see if we can get a Satori. And we got it. Wow, that was really lucky. I don't know if we'll need this, if like the Satori will be needed in the end. And he gets a uh, Virgo out of trash, 2k counter. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just a nice like little comfort thing. Well, now we can consider, jeez, I'm, okay, we're getting it at all. Now we can consider, so we know he has a 2k. At least one or two of these have to be bricks. At least one. So two, four, six, eight, ten. <sighs> this would be 9, 10, 11, one. for Satori, if we use Amaru, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 with leader effect. And this would be, if you Amaru leader as well, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 and 13. That's probably the best bet. Kind of like that. Use double check. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. If we did 12, that would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It would be 12 and 12. I think we just go 11, 13 just for the better chance. He might be able to get out of this if he can. Um, oh, he took it. Okay. We had five for ace just in case. I don't think he would be planning for double armor there. That was just kind of like clutch on our part. But I don't know, man. He might be able to. Let's see. Oh, GG. That was scary. Uh, he had four. He had four bricks. You kind of just got to assume, though, you know? GG to this guy, though. Um, sorry. I'm just going to do the one. Oh, that was... Um, sorry. I hate to dip like that, but... I don't wanna, I, I feel like every time I win against Sakazuki with Yamato, they want the rematch. And most of the time I give it to him. But I just wanted to do the one there. Cause that's just it. That's all you do. And like, there's nothing more I can show you for that matchup is you just, um, you know, you, you, you need Hody or Ace. Hody is better, I would say just in general. But Ace is still really clutch cause you can play it early. Um, but you know, if you're not drawing your Amaru's, if you're not drawing anything that, that you have the rest at the end of the game, you and they get their Sabo blockers and stuff up, you need Hody. So I would say Hody is just a little bit more important than Ace. And um, yeah, after that, it's like if you run Sugar, try and Sugar and Hody would be probably like like that. We got a really nice hand. That was a good hand. Um, we drew into like drawing into like the three holies actually wasn't that great. Um, but we got the Satori out of life, but that was like a calculated risk on my part where I was just like Probably not gonna survive the next turn and though we could have countered out of, it, of one of those attacks I decided to take the other one. We got rewarded, but um, Yeah, they had four bricks in hand, so it wasn't gonna matter um, Because ace is a 7k so we would have just played ace and still had enough dawn to double Amaru I, I don't think they were gonna be able to get out of that um, But who knows but GG's to them. That's how you do it with Yamato Yamato beats the Sakazuki's baby. Gotta believe, gotta believe. But yeah, GG's, GG's, that was a good game. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, consider liking and subscribing and uh, check out the Discord if you wanna be a part of the community. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.